We got a big one on the ice tonight, and along with Ray Ferraro, I'm James Sabolski, ready to call all the action. Hershey's up in this series here, Ray, but they could really stretch things out with a win here tonight. When you're in a series, it goes really quickly, but it's a long, slow battle, and if you can get out by a couple of games, you really feel good. We are about set to drop the puck as both centers make their way into the dot. Every game critical in the postseason. This one no different, and we are underway. Wrist shot from the slot. Glove save. Quick hands. Not only does he get a glove on it, he catches it, which is hard to do. Lots of time left in this period. Still scoreless in this one. Hartford's won the draw, and they'll go to work. Nowhere for that shot to go through. And as he stumbles, he coughs up the puck. Slides in off the wing after the centerman tied him up. From the left side, they enter the attacking zone. Hartford's got the puck along the boards. Steps into the offensive end. We got a penalty coming up as he was hooked on the play. That opportunity is rejected. Time for the officials to hand out the judgment. A little too much stick and body hooking up on this one, hence hooking on the goal. Yeah, I, I didn't think this was a difficult call for the official to make at all. Hartford's man advantage unit will take to the ice for the first time tonight. And if you're one of these power play guys, James, you can't wait now. It's your first opportunity of the night. You get out on the power play, you want to make a difference. Stones up with the blocker. Again, the denial by the goaltender. Yeah, he got out tight to him, James. There's nowhere for that puck to go. Jones is quick on the draw. Receives the pass. Centering pass. Just can't complete that pass. Oh, he's got the right play in mind. He just doesn't execute the final pass. To point blank. How did he stop that one? No room for the shooter. The goaltender snuffed it out. And the puck clears the zone. The Wolfpack have taken possession along the wall. Brzezinski's got it across the line. Takes a wrist shot. No room for that one to get through. Stones him in front, trying to escape the pressure. Puck moved back to the neutral zone. The Wolfpack have gained possession off the wall. Man advantages up. Both teams back to even strength. Well, they'll have to regroup after that. The power play doesn't cash in. Opportunity lost for them. Scoops up the puck now. Along the wing up the neutral zone. Sends the pass over. Grabs the puck in the slot. No one home on that play. Puck knocked loose after that hit. Here's a blast. Denies him with a save. Hershey's got a hold of it along the wall. Back at the point, they set it up. Knocked away. They're extending offensive zone time. They're going to score here pretty soon. Good defensive effort to poke it away. Slides the puck over. Nice feed from the left side up the middle. Urkamps carries the puck in his own zone. Moves it around along the half wall. Hammers a shot with the stop. Inching closer to the midway mark of the period. We've still got zeros on the board. The frozen biscuits dropped, and we are back underway here. Moving into the attacking zone. The Wolfpack have the puck against the boards. Strong defensive effort. Hartford's got it in the neutral zone. Long lead pass into the open ice. Nice speed at center moves up ahead now. Down the right side and into the zone. Takes it to the net. And that goes off course wide. You can...
can go games without a chance from here. Takes the pass. They've got numbers to his teammate. Stopped by the goaltender. Officials getting ready to drop the puck. Puck possession so key in today's game. They take possession as he locks them up off the faceoff. Pokes it away to keep the pressure on. Schilling's lugging the puck. And they'll be forced to tag up after that missed pass. Right to the middle. And they come up empty-handed. Sends a pass over. Great pass from the left wing up the middle now. Big time stop there. Schilling's got the puck now in his own end. Picking up steam in the offensive zone. The Wolfpack have gained control of the puck along the wall. Takes the feed. Urkens is brought down. A penalty on the way. And he moves it up to Pilon. Looks to make a play over to Carr. Takes a shot and he makes the save. And there's the whistle stopping the play. Ray, it looks like tripping. It's amazing how coaches get angry with a tripping penalty, but they don't seem to say much if it's a boarding penalty. It's still two minutes. Two is two, yeah. One just seems lazier, though, isn't it? Yeah, well, maybe I don't want to hit anybody, and I take a <laughs> tripping penalty. Safety first. The Bears will have a chance to get on the power play for the first time this evening. When you don't score! They deliver big time with the man advantage. Yeah, they use that extra man to their advantage. Move the puck very quickly. That's a nice goal. Hershey's hard work in this opening period pays off. Well, right when the anthem finished, these guys were on it. They've done a really terrific job and are well rewarded for that first goal. Molson's got it on the offensive end. Moves the puck. Hartford's moving it up the ice. Dumps it in. The Bears scoop it up along the boards. Coughs it up on the play. Slides the cross ice pass. Hartford's got possession here in the offensive zone. In close! Spectacular stop by the goaltender. How did he hang on to that? Yeah, he gets out on top of the shooter. There's really nowhere for that puck to go. Hershey's gained possession along the boards. And a stick in the lane ends that threat. Sends it deep inside the offensive zone. Hartford's looking to break out of their own end. Brings the puck into the offensive end now. Solid check to slow him down. Hartford's got the puck along the wall. Goalie with a stop. Certain saves are more difficult than others. This one right from the slot is turned aside. Nobody has the answer so far to shutting him down among the league leaders in goals in these playoffs. Past the midway mark of the frame, James and Ray with you tonight. We've got a 1-0 hockey game thus far. Sneaks away with the puck after he was tangled up on the draw. Play rolls on. Hershey's got it into the offensive zone. Sends it down low. Aaron pass and the play's broken up. Here's a shot. Gets in front of it. He scores! Jumps on the rebound and makes it count. Oh, he tried to make a desperation save there, but he gets beat. Not much else he could do. The Bears have widened this gap here in the first. What a terrific start for them as they've been the better team in the first part of this game. Grabs the puck at center. Scored by number 20. Takes the feed at center and moves up ahead. Tipped in front. Nice save by the goaltender to get a pad on that. 
Now, by being in the right position, James, he gets so tight to the shooter, there's nowhere for the puck to go. 14 minutes, 14 seconds. Hartford's had the scoring opportunities, but they still find themselves behind in the first. And as the puck is dropped, they win the draw here inside the defensive zone. Moves it to Pilon. Dishes it to Carr. Here's a shot, and the traffic neutralizes that threat. Hartford's got it along the wall. Hangs onto the puck. Hershey's got a hold of it against the wall. Hartford's trying to make something happen in the offensive zone. No, oh, denies him with the save. I think he got the blocker on it. Molson's point streak has been a thing to behold. You start to get superstitious on a run. You do everything the same. You wear the same suit all the time. More than half the period has expired. Hershey's really controlled the pace of play these last few minutes, leading by two. He was locked in there. Beautiful feed up ahead from the right wing side. Dumped into the cross side. The Wolfpack have possession along the boards. Grabbed along the boards by Nieves. And pokes the puck loose inside the offensive end. And that shot goes nowhere as the lane was filled. Hartford's got the puck along the boards. Here's a chance, just wide. Moves it up. Starbos is caught up with the hook and the official saw it. Nice pass back. The Bears take it along the wing. Gets to the bench for the extra attacker. And that one's turned away. Here's a chance. Save made by the goalie. Here comes the call. The Wolfpack have been handed two minutes for hooking. I guess at a certain point you got to let the guy go, but he worries that he's out of position, so he tries to slow him down with a hook. Pretty cut and dry call. The power play unit goes right back to work. They've been successful on the power play already, James, so now you get another opportunity. Do not relax. Go pile it on and get another one. Cars exploring options with the puck. Can't connect! Hartford's in transition. The Bears get a hold of the puck along the boards. Tries to make that cross ice speed. Solid hit on the play, and that knocks the puck off his stick. Hartford's looking to break out. Quick feed to Jones. Move to the middle! The Bears get a hold of the puck in their own end. Takes the feed. Here's the pass! And somehow, some way, he comes up with a stop with his glove. Molson's been able to fight through the tight checking of the playoffs to be among the league leaders in points in this postseason. Hartford's still trailing here in this opening period despite excellent scoring opportunities in the offensive zone. Moves quickly over to Sprong. That's off a stick. Here inside the defensive zone, they get the puck. Nieves steps back out onto the ice. All a good power play is about 20%, James. That one falls in the other 80%. They don't get it done, the power play expires. Manages to hang on. The Bears look to break out before the period ends. At center ice now, he grabs the puck. Takes it to the front. Handles the puck. All smart heads up play to poke that one away. And there she blows. The horn sounds. That'll do it for this period number one. Two nothing after 20 minutes of play as both teams make their way to the room. Second period still to come. We'll take a quick pause and be right back with more action. They're ready to drop the puck here on period number two. James Sabolski, Ray Ferraro bringing you all the action. Hartford's won the draw. Carries it across the line. Here's a shot. Puts it high. The Bears have it against the wall. Takes a couple of knocks and loses control. Copley's going to hang on. 
on here for the whistle and stoppage of play. It's a good thing he does because you haven't mentioned his name and I don't know how long the play's been at the other end of the ice forever. Hartford's looking to convert on some of these chances. They've had plenty of opportunities but have been snake bitten thus far. The Bears win the draw. Hartford's got the puck behind the net. Denied by the goaltender. Copley's goaltending at one end and the offensive output at the other has made for a good night. Oh, look at that. Here we go. We got a penalty coming up right here. And a penalty coming up as the official blows the play dead. And he's going to get two for hooking on the play, Ray. He should. I mean, he gets his stick out parallel to the ice. He gets it across the player's midsection, and that's kind of a red flag for that penalty. The Bears send their man advantage unit out once more. As someone who played a lot on the power play, you get one early in a game, it gives you more confidence. They look like they're ready to get another one. Almost lost the puck, but hangs on here as play continues. Denies that opportunity. Still plenty of time left in this frame. Hershey's got a 2-0 lead. Off the draw, and he ties up his opponent. Here they come on the attack. Keeps holding the puck. Takes a bump, but hangs on. Turn that one aside. Slows him up on the play, and that's going to cost him as the officials caught that one. This is a good old-fashioned hooking the call here. He looked like he was water skiing. Man, you got to move your feet. You get your stick around his waist, you'll get called. A little more room out there with a little four-on-four. Four. Sometimes you need grit and you need grind and you need toughness. Not in four-on-four. Four. You need skill. You need guys that can skate and who can move the puck. His reflexes on display tonight. Hartford's had the scoring opportunities. They just haven't been able to capitalize as they continue to trail. Snatches the puck with the two centermen locked up. Great defensive effort with the stick. The Bears gain control of the puck against the wall. Nice pass. Stopped by the goaltender. Denies him again. Quick reflexes. You make one, you make two stops before the puck is cleared away. Hartford's got it against the boards. Their man's now out of the box, and they'll take advantage on the power play. Takes the feed in the middle of the neutral zone. Right up front, and that one's broken up. Great block there. Loses his balance on the play. Puck is cleared out of the defensive zone. Here's a chance behind the net. Pilo's out of the box, and both sides are back to even strength. Player goes down to the ice. There's the referee's hand in the air. Looks like we got a tripping penalty on the way. Time for the official to pass down his sentence. So often in a in a shifty little play, the, you're trying to get to the puck, you get your stick in the wrong spot, he steps on your stick, and there's nothing you can do. Another chance here on the man advantage. They've settled too much for one shot. They've got to get into the front of the net, James, and find the rebounds. Jones wins it in the offensive zone. Here's a short pass to Brodzinski. Shoots it just wide. Trying to come up with a huge defensive play to get this puck out of his own end. We got a penalty coming up on the play as the referee extends his hand in the air. Not quite a bear hug, but holding is the call, Ray. As soon as you reach out, you're, you're alerting the official to take a closer look. And one hand off the stick in traffic, it's a bad place to be. Got burned. They'll play some four on four. The last couple of years, we've seen different strategy four on four come into the game. What is apparent, when you get the puck, you keep it. You'll move it and hold it till the great chance opens up. Kind of lost control for a second there, but regains possession. And a poke check knocks the puck away. Taken along the wall by Jones. Stopped by the goaltender. Puck picked up by Jones. That pass goes a little sideways. The Bears take a breakaway. Oh, what a stop on the breakaway. Good speed to break ahead of the pack. He thinks he's got the goalie beat, but shut down. That's a great stop. 
And there's the whistle. Yet another penalty set to be handed out here. Pretty hard to argue the holding call on this one, Ray. Yeah, but he's trying to hold him for just a second and get away with it, but he got burned on it. Hershey's man advantage unit set to go to work on a four on three. Well, that'll set up the power play, but it's a four on three power play. A little more room. Puck clears the zone. From their own end as they get a fresh set of legs here for this man advantage. Great pass from off the right side. Centering pass, turns it away. Quick pass to Strong. Another stop by the goaltender. Grabs the puck here in their own end. Settles things down and gets control of it once again. The Bears gain possession along the wall. Up along the wing. Look out, a two-on-one. Oh, what a dangle. Turn that chance aside. And the pass is picked off. And that one's blocked. Hartford's in now. Wrist shot from the slot. Big save. The Bears fail to capitalize on the man advantage. Both sides back to even strength. There are times as penalty kill has looked like it's up on two wheels tonight. But they kill this last penalty off, and we go back to even strength. Inching closer to the midway mark of this period, and it's a comfortable 2-0 lead we're looking at right now. Locks them up on the draw as they take possession. Receives the pass. Bumped off the puck. Hartford's got it in their own zone. Moves the puck across to Brodzinski. A chance from the slot. Oh, and comes up with nothing on the play. He's got to do something a little better than that. Just can't finish it from there. Wonder if that gives him a nightmare later. Sends the pass over. Hershey's got the puck against the half wall. And he's tripped up on the play. Referee off the outside of the post and stays out. Let's see what the officials say. The Wolfpack have been penalized. They'll serve two in the box. Once he puts up his little token argument here, he's going to circle around a bit and try and regroup here as he goes for the penalty. Are you line. a haggler? Always. You never think it's the right call. Hershey's power play unit puts their hard hats on as they go back to work. Here's another power play for them, James. They've already scored on the power play tonight, so they must have some pretty good feel for it. They also have to be aware of the penalty. Oh, that's going to be a penalty. They're going to have to call that. Hartford's got a hold of the puck. Scrum ensues along the boards. There's the whistle. Penalty coming up. The Bears will serve two for holding. Player's got a little bit of a beef here, but when you reach out with your arm, that signals to the official to keep a closer look. It's a penalty no matter how you shine it these days. Puck set to drop. We've got some four-on-four four coming up. We always talk about whether face-offs are important or not, James. Four-on-four four they are. You want that initial possession. Moves it to Carr. Along the boards, they battle for the puck. Strong defensive effort. It's a two-on-one. Takes a shot. Makes a save. The Wolfpack have gained control of the puck in their own zone. Through center along the wing. They've got the defense outnumbered. Comes up with the stop. Kincaid's the last line of defense, and he has to come up big for his team again. The two-on-one yields a really good chance, but a better stop. Hartford's had a lot of good looks on net, but they continue to trail here in the second. Off the draw, and a nice job locking up his opponent. The Bears take it along the wall. Regains possession at center. Hartford's penalty has expired. They now go to work on the man advantage. Through the middle of the ice, they enter the attacking zone. Stopped by the goaltender. Right from the most dangerous area on the ice, the goalie flashes the glove. That's an arrogant stop. James and Ray with you tonight. More than half the period has been played. Hershey's got some breathing room as they lead it 2-0. Nieves has won the draw. Oh, and he completely blew it on that miss. Yeah, you got to get it on the net, James. You've got an opportunity to score, and you don't even test the goalie. The Wolfpack have taken possession along the wall. And now he angles it across to Nieves. Looking to make something happen along the boards. The Bears have it from their own end. Pilos taking it from his own end. Moves inside! 
Comes up with a monster save in front. Oh, he had to get up tight to the puck. In close, he takes away any room. From the point, they take control of it. And that one's broken up by a great defensive play. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. Nice poke check. Let's the wrister go. Oh, what a stop with the stick. From the right side, takes the pass. On the attack along the boards. Moved to the middle. Right in the slot, and they can't connect. This shot comes from a real dangerous area on the ice. But the goalie's in position, and he makes a nice stick save. Puck possession so critical. Another face-off coming up here. Swoops in off the wing to grab the puck after the centerman tied him up. Maintains possession. The Bears play it along the boards. Can't keep a hold of it after that hit. Takes control of the puck. Takes the pass. With possession along the wall. He got all of that one. Johansson's moving it ahead. And we've got a two-on-one. And he comes up with a huge stop. Fontaine's trying to brace himself. He knows the hit's coming. But man, does he get leveled. Here in the later stages of this period, 2-0 is the score. Back underway, and they take possession here in... Scores! That's three unanswered now. Well, there seems to be no way to stop them. They got one, and it seemed like the momentum just changed so far in one team's favor. It's a snowball effect now. Centerman practice face-offs at the end of every practice. This time, the defensive guy loses position. The puck ends up on the shooter's stick, and he rifles it by the goaltender. Hershey's offensive performance is still in full effect here, even in the late stages of this period. They haven't taken their foot off the gas pedal yet. They are still pushing for more offense. The Bears scoop it up along the boards. Looking for space inside the D zone. Puck dumped in. Hartford's got control of it now from their own end. They try to maintain possession inside the defensive zone. Slides the puck over. The Bears gain possession in their own end. And he loses control of the puck. Drives to the paint. Good heads up play in the defensive zone. Moves up near the blue line and looks to set up at the point. What a save. He'll probably feel that one tomorrow. Scrum along the boards. Smart. He's all alone with the goaltender. Big time. Shows off his athleticism to follow the puck. The deke is made, and he's still right there. Moved up ahead here in the neutral zone. Hershey's got the puck in their own end. The Bears will play it from the defensive zone. Hershey's across the blue line. Nearing the 40-minute mark of the game. In the second period. Hartford's moving it along the wing. Puck knocked loose in the neutral zone. Along the right wing, they enter the attacking area. Tries to dangle, and the puck skips away. There are times you try to do too much. He's got good hands, but maybe a more simple play is the right one there. Makes the stop with the blocker. Big save by the goaltender once again. Tosses it on to Brodzinski. Well, the ice has sure looked tilted after 40 minutes of play as the second period comes to an end. The good old days of hockey are back. Vintage jerseys are now available at kiosks throughout the arena and at our main Third show. period is just it around the corner, so don't even street. think about putting that controller down. for the opening face-off here in period number three. James Sabalski and Ray Ferraro set to call the action for you. Hartford's got a hold of the puck off the draw. 
gains the zone. Here's a shot. Puts it high. Yeah, it sounds great. Hit the net, though. You got a better chance to score. And he denied that opportunity. Still early on in this frame, James and Ray with you. So glad you could join us. 3-0 is where we sit. One team really enjoying this night. The other, not so much. And down he goes as the puck goes free. Hartford's got it in their own zone. Hershey's looking to break out of their own end. Urkamps is hauled down. The official's arm is up. Let's get the call here. Tripping the call on the play. I don't necessarily think he's trying to trip him here, James, but he gets the stick into his feet. Down he goes. The Bears once again send out their power play unit. At the morning skate today, they were really working on the power play quite extensively. The power play coach has to be satisfied with how they've looked tonight. And he regains control of the puck. Wax it into the offensive zone. Hershey's got the puck along the wall. Sends it over to Sprong. Feeds it to Pilon. Here's a chance, a two-on-one. And the puck escapes the zone, and they'll be forced to tag up. Into the offensive end now. Stays with it. To the low slot. Denies him in front. He reacts late, but he makes a save through traffic. Flares up the arm with the blocker. Makes a pretty good save here. Hershey's on total cruise control early in this third period. And momentum on their side as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. And that skips away on a nice defensive deflection. He scores! His first career playoff goal! He was saying to a couple guys this morning he thought he was going to be able to score soon. Looks like he's right. Power play's job is to create shots. And if you can create them from the most dangerous areas of the ice, you're going to be successful. Dead center, in the slot. He doesn't miss. The Bears have been enjoying pad the stat night here. It's been going all night long here, even in the third. They came to play tonight. They have not let their opponent breathe, and it has been a dominating performance. Sends a pass over. Pokes the puck away. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Takes that pass back at the point. With the blast, and he blocks the shot. Great defensive play. Trying to get back on the attack now. Takes the feed. Nice zone entry from the left. Gets the full use of his stick on the poke check. The Bears move the puck in the defensive zone. And here's a shot. Comes up with the stop. The Bears have shown no signs of slowing down here in this third period up big. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. What a steal in his own end. Cuffs up possession of the puck. Grabs control of it at the point. Big play inside the defensive zone. Up along the wall on the right side and into the attacking area. Scrum along the boards as they battle for the puck. Grabs it in his own end. Hartford's moving it into the offensive end. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. And now he moves it quickly to Fontaine. Quick feed down low. Moves the puck. The Bears move it ahead. Puck exits the zone. Deflected away. Nice defensive use of the stick there. Nice stick work to knock the puck loose. 
The Wolfpack have gained possession off the wall. Into the offensive zone. Hangs onto the puck. And that one flies over the net. Offside is the call, and we'll have a face-off just outside the offensive zone. Plenty of playing time left in this frame. Hershey's fans are loving every minute of this one as they lead 4-0. This neutral zone face-off set to go, and we are back underway. Jabs the puck away. Takes the feed. And a great save! He scores! What a little puck luck on the play! Hartford's back at center ice. They have a long way to go still here, though, Ray. Yeah, get your scores out there, James. Don't worry about the defensive end of the ice. You need goals. For goal. Scored by number 16. The Bears take goal. it along the wall. Here he is. He scores! What a counterpunch! Well, the coaches have to be thrilled with this. They got up off the deck and scored shortly after giving one up. You've got to get rid of that puck in a hurry from that spot on the ice. You're in the high slot, you're open, but you know everybody's converging on you. The Bears have really been strutting their offensive prowess. You've been impressed tonight? I really have. They can put it on cruise control now. A large lead here in the third period. Takes the feed from the left side. Can't catch up to the pass. Takes the puck at the point. Move to the middle, and they can't connect. Quick feed to Carr. Manages to hang on. That pass doesn't go. Puck scooped up by Sprong. Kind of lost control for a second there, but regains possession. Denies him! Great reflexes, another save. That's why a goalie can never relax. He makes one stop. Now he's got to be sharp to make another. Hershey's showing no signs of slowing down here in this third period up big time. Sneaks away with the puck after he was tangled up on the draw. Along the wing up the neutral zone. From the left side takes it at center. Let's it go! And that sails over the net! Grabs the puck and looks to make something happen. And it's a quick pass to Jones. Big stop by the goaltender right in front. Sometimes you're in close, there's no room to put it anywhere. The goalie smothered it all. Smart defensive play there. There's the whistle from the linesman calling it offside. Those are the saves that are gifts from the goaltender. That looks like an automatic goal. He's able to make the stop. Past the halfway mark of this period. Well, one team sure came to play tonight. We've got a 5-1 game. Here's a chance to make something happen inside the neutral zone. Cuts to the paint. Almost lost the puck, but hangs on here as play continues. Hartford's got a hold of it along the wall. Jostling for the puck, and he loses control. And that caroms right off the mask. Hartford's got the puck in the defensive end. The Bears take possession in the neutral zone. And he handles the cross-ice pass. Gains the zone from the right. Handles it along the blue line. Pumped away by the goaltender. Handles the pass from the right side. Moves the puck along the half wall. And that one's broken up by a great defensive play. From the right wing, he moves it to the middle. Hershey's on the attack and makes the save. There's a whistle as the official's calling for a penalty here. The good old-fashioned hook is sending him off to the box. He's almost in the right position, but he's got to give him a little hook. When he gives that tug, he goes to the penalty box. It gets called every time. As we're about to drop the puck, the power play unit back out onto the ice for another opportunity. Best part about being on the power play, no matter how good or bad it is, you get another chance. Out you go, and you've got a chance to make it better. Nice puck check inside the attacking zone. Slides the puck down low. There's a shot. Glove saved by the goalie.
These are positional saves. This is a good scoring chance, and he makes the stop with his stick. Hershey's offense has been the story tonight, leading big time here in this third period. Hartford's got it, and they're on the attack. Whoa! Lights the lamp on the power play! One of the guys skated by as they were starting the power play and leaned over and said, we're getting one here. They're on the board. Is that a called shot? I think it is. Not bad. Man, the goalie's going to look at his teammates and say, is anybody going to cover the high slot? He was so open, he was able to hammer home the one-timer. Hartford's got to be thinking more and more offense here now in the third. No reason to sit back. You're in a hole here. You need goals and you need lots of them. Attack. Hartford goal. Scored on the power goal. Handles the puck. The Drives to the sweet spot. Answered the call there. Really good positioning as he makes the stop from in tight. Time of the goal. 13 minutes, 22 seconds. The Bears have been the aggressor offensively tonight as they continue to lead in the third. And as the puck is dropped, they win the draw here inside the defensive zone. Hartford's on the attack. Keeps hold of the puck. And that's blocked. Hartford's got the puck against the boards. Musa quickly over to the Evis. Into the corner of the attacking area. Here's a shot. And that carries off a stick. There's the whistle as the puck skips out of play. Such hard work in the defensive zone when you're rolling around on a cycle trying to stop the other team. So this stoppage comes really at a nice time for them. They can get a breath here, get regrouped. Hartford's won the draw. Here's a short pass to Thompson. A chance and makes the save. Hershey's laying up, pounding on the opposition tonight, generating numerous scoring chances and converting on what feels like almost all of them. Puck is dropped, and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Grabs it in his own end. Hershey's got the puck along the wall. Here he is in front. Easy peasy right there by Kincaid. Hartford's moving it up the ice. Front. And he slides it quickly to Fontaine. Finds some space in the corner. Puts it on goal. And there's the save. The Bears wanted to focus on putting more pucks on net going into tonight's game. They have done just that and then some here in the third. Schilling's got it now deep inside his own end. The Bears get a hold of the puck in the open ice. The Wolfpack have it in their own zone. Hartford's got it across the line. Jostles the puck loose. And he's taken down the official's arm, signaling for a penalty. And he slides it quickly to Strong. Tripped up on the play, delayed penalty coming up. Here comes the call. They're gonna be on the same team, James. You've made one mistake already. Now they compound it with another. Boy, talk about a disastrous play, and that sequence there is going to cost them. What an opportunity for the power play here. They've got lots of time to work this five-on-three. With such a long five-on-three power play in front of them, they can afford to be patient. Don't take the first shot. Take the best shot. Moves around along the half wall. Here's a chance, right in the slot, comes up with the glove save. Slides the puck into the offensive zone. Settles things down and gets control of it once again. There's another stop. Really sharp, never loses sight of the puck to make the second save. Now he takes it over the line. A chance right in front, blocked in traffic. From the place 99 made famous. From their own end, time winding down here on this power play. They got to get something going here. Yeah, you got to get into the zone first, James. Get it set up, start moving the puck around, but they've got to get into the zone quickly. Under a minute to go in the third. And he can't get it off. Well, the power play melts away. They don't get anything on it. I don't think it's particularly important because they've got such a nice lead here. 
They just want to run the clock out. He scores! Well, I don't know, James. This is going to be waved off immediately. The ref puts his palms down, waves off the goal, and this looks like goalie interference. Well, the official doesn't like something here, Ray. Yeah, as soon as that puck entered the net, this was waved off. The goaltender doesn't like it, and it looks like the officials are going to agree with him. We're going to get another vantage point here. Play set to resume, and you can see they're still frustrated by that non-goal call. And they take possession. Nice job tangling him up on the draw. Now a quick pass to Sprong. Brzezinski slowed down with the hook, and the official's arm is in the air. And he sprints to the bench to get the extra attacker out on the ice. And the shot dies in the traffic jam. And there's the whistle. Let's hear the official call. And it's going to be two minutes for hooking on the call. A lot of people debate, is this a lazy penalty, the hook? I don't know if it's lazy all the time, but it's a penalty of being out of position. Your stick's parallel to the ice. You get called all the time. The frozen biscuits dropped, and we are back underway here. Nice pass. Blocker saved by the goalkeeper. And he came out and challenged a good save. And another stop. Nice work in there. After the first stop, he's got to find the puck to save the second. As a great older colleague of mine says, this is waffle boarded away. The Bears are in the home stretch of this one, leading big time in the third. Scoops up the puck off the draw. They get it out of the defensive end. Hartford's going to play the puck from behind the cage. They've got numbers. It's a two-on-one. Stopped by the goaltender. Big stop by the keeper. Nothing. That's it. There's the final horn to close this one up. It's not over till it's over, Ray, but a commanding lead here up to zip. A huge second game. You know when you win the first game, you've got the opponent nervous. You have to step on them when they're a little bit down, and they were able to do that. For Ray Ferraro, my name is James Sabalski. This series will continue on, and we will talk to you then. Good night, everybody.